Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Right, today we are going up to Nottingham and the Black Iris Brewery. I've not had anything from them before and heard some good stuff. They've done some really good beers in 2018 and finally got round to getting a beer from them. So here we are. This is Drain the Blood. Set it across the top. Cracking artwork, look at this. So Drain the Blood, it's a collaboration with Brutillas and they are out of Faversham in Kent. I've had a few beers from, from Brutillas, so yeah, why not? Pick this up in the Ravensgate Arms in Bramsgate. Now they're saying this is a it says a blood orange tea American wheat ale or untapped, it's a pale wheat ale, whatever you want to call it, that's what it is. Um, brewed and canned at Black Iris Brewery, bloody blah, blah blah, Nottingham. Allergens include cereals containing gluten, um, what with barley, wheat, and oats, hops, blood orange, tea, yeast, and water. 5.2% ABV. Social media or on Instagram and Twitter. I'll put all the links down below for, for both breweries. So, yeah. Purchase this round about. Oh, let's have a look. When did I purchase this? I've had it a fair while. I'm reviewing it on the 27th of November of 2018. Anyway, let that load up. Five. Is it, no, it's not. It's a 440ml can. Crack it open then. It's got a best before date on it. I think it's March of 2019. There we go, beer in a glass. Cost me five pounds in the Ravensgate, so. That's settled down just a touch. So one finger, white head, nice hazy looking colour to it, although it's looking a lot paler and bubblier with the All the bubbles clinging to the glass on this teku, but whatever. So now that this page has come to life, I purchased it on. We'll get there. Come on. I don't know. I have no idea. No idea. Oh well. Don't know what I bought. Bought it. It's about a month ago. So yeah, beer and glass, hazy. Kind of a, yeah, mid kind of shading of orange, so aroma. That's, that's out there. You're definitely, you're definitely picking up that blood orange for sure. Oh, excuse me. There's a slight herbal herbal sort of underline that kind of obvious orange there's like a lemon almost like um, like a mild ch cheddar as well kind of aroma slightly oniony Hmm. It reminds me in some ways of a. Well, it's pretty. Like it's not this style of beer. It reminds me of some ways of like a. Um, a Saison or something like that. Very mildly though. You know, it's not like pff, farmhouse, but it's, it's just a very mild kind of little bits and pieces. I think that kind of mild cheddar is making me think that. Anyway. Let's crack into it and see what we get on the taste. Cheers. One more go. That is very, very different. 
I'm definitely getting that tea more more on the second mouthful of beer than the first. I was getting more blood orange and then second mouthful the tea and then the tea is just taken over. That's an interesting beer. Does it say what tea they used? Uh, a blood orange tea. It's a little bit drying on the back end. Yeah, it's more of a, a drying kind of blood orange. That kind of herbal tea element that's going on with it. A little bit kind of a slightly bit slightly a little bit earthy it's an interesting interesting beer there is a little bit of citrus citriness there as well but wow that that is a very very kind of unique kind of taste in beer for my palate at least it says it's this wheat wheat heavy pile is dry hot with loads of let me try and pronounce this this one olecana and racal hops probably butchering it up and a generous dollop of blood orange tea at the end full of orangey bitterness and moorish juiciness now I'm getting a very kind of dry kind of tea note to it. Um, although completely different from them, um, almost to the dryness of a kind of a brute IPA. Uh, I think Northern Monk done a brute IPA and it's, it's, it's delivering that. It's really dry. But it's, it's moreish though with that. Because you, it's so dry, then you you, you need another, you know, because your mouth's drying out. It's very nice though. Very unique, I'd say. It develops on the palate. You, you drink it. Oh, that's that's nice blood orange, and then and then it kind of like slowly fades into this kind of like the blood orange tea but in, in a drying way towards the back end of the of the actual taste interesting beer for sure um, I'm trying to remember I've had Earl Grey IPA before from the Marble Brewery that was before they were canning I don't think I remember it being as dry as that. It's quite dry. It's drying. Um, so I'm going to get to my rating now. I'm feeling I'm ready for it. it. It's different. It's it's certainly something that I'm not used to. But saying that, I am actually enjoying it. Although it's it's just trying to wrap your head around all these kind of elements. I need another taste. It's just very interesting, very interesting. I'm trying to work it out, you think you keep going back for another sip. It's one of them sort of beers, you know. I'm going to give this a seven and a half out of ten. Um, it's just a. It would probably get an eight, but if it wasn't quite so dry for, for, for my palate. Um, but don't take my kind of just go out and try it for yourself that's why I say it's worth picking up even though I'm giving it a seven and a half out of ten it's still going it's still worth going out and picking it up if it's still around it's, it's been out a little while now so um, I think it was available in the Ravensgate up until a few days ago um, I'm, I'm recording this on 27th of November so um, if you see it go and try it for yourself really um, so yeah Scores and untap then it's not had a lot. Total check-ins 179. 29 in the last 30 days. And 155 ratings coming in. Here we go. 3.76. So 
I'm giving it a three point three point uh, seven five. So that's a that's a yeah, it's pretty much there, isn't it? Really, seven and a half out of ten. Bang on. Um, beer was added on the twenty third of September of twenty eighteen. So so there you go. Um, but I need to try more from the Black Iris Brewery. Uh, at Nottingham. I think they originally started in twenty fourteen in Derbyshire. And yeah, and they they relocate to Nottingham, so so there you go. That is the uh, drain drain the blood, which is a an American pale wheat ale brewed with blood orange tea. But yeah, brilliant artwork. Look at that, punk. Really interesting. Hopefully, I can peel this. Uh, label off and uh, stick it on the wall. Anyway, let me know if you've had that one before or if there's any other beers from the Black Iris Brewery that you think I should be picking up. Um, put, the links, links, put the links down below. Put the suggestions down below. It's always nice to hear and let's so try and find these things. Anyway, long review and thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next review. Cheers. Is this going to stop? It will now. Bye.